What's up guys, have you seen your favorite basketball player warm up with some bands around their knees walking sideways or doing some little jumps? That's because they're trying to target their glutes. The glutes are one of the most important muscles in our body, especially for basketball players. What's up guys, my name is Dr. Marco Lopez, doctor of physical therapy and certified strength and conditioning specialist and co-founder of The Basketball Doctor. So in regards to glute training, we're gonna go over today why glute training is important and also to follow up on our first part series, and you can click the link here, uh, regarding glute strengthening. So in our first part of series, we went over non-weight bearing glute strengthening, so ways to really strengthen your muscle without putting weight on your legs. So very basic exercises. Today we're gonna kind of bump it up. But to kind of quickly recap why glute strengthening is important is that glute is one of our strongest and largest muscles in our body, especially for our lower body, it helps you know, control that knee valgus that we talk about. So sometimes when your knee comes in, it could be due to weak glutes. Also, the glutes allow us to decrease the stress in our knee by distributing the pressure, not only in our quads, but also using our glutes as well. So that's why sometimes you hear your coach says, use your glutes or get a little bit lower because as basketball players, we're so quad dominant that we tend not to use our glutes as much as we would like to. So why is it hard to use your glutes? That's another question that gets common. It's like, you know, I still don't feel the muscles working. That's because the glutes have very little cortical representation in our brain, so it's harder to train that muscle. And also, there's a lot of other muscles that help compensate for it. So what the glute does, it extends your hips, abducts your hip, so it extends, kicks your hip back, abducts it, moves it out to the side, and then rotates it. There's other muscles that do that as well. So the hamstring muscle and the adductor's muscles, they also help extend your hip, so move your hip backwards. Then we also have the TFL that also helps with that moving to the outside of your leg, so that abduction. So that's why the glute is very hard to really selectively activate because there's all these other muscles that will compensate for it. So as I mentioned in our first part series, we teach the fundamentals which you could click click here. But in this part, we're gonna teach, still work on the fundamentals, but we're gonna do it more in a standing position, so more of a weight-bearing position. So we're gonna go over two exercises. One of them would be the surfer squat, where we're really working on those glutes by really working on the positioning of our legs, really working on external rotation abduction. And then the other one is a basic little squat, but using the band to give us resistance and also activating our core, because that's another thing with glute strengthening is that if you don't have your core activated, you're more in that lordotic position, meaning your arched back, that's not gonna put those glutes in an optimal position to fire. So we wanna be in a better neutral position to fire those glutes. So on to the exercise we're gonna go. All right guys, we're gonna go over the two exercises that we like to do for part two of glute strengthening in a weight bearing position. So the first exercise is gonna be the surfer squat. So you're gonna use any kind of TheraBand, any band around your knees. So here we're using the hip core from crossover symmetry. You're gonna place this band here, right above your knee. From there, I'm gonna go into a little surfer squat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my leg straight forward this way, other leg perpendicular with it. From there, my, I'm gonna bend down into a squat, have my chest over my toes, over my knees, sorry, and almost over my toes there. And then what I want to make sure is my knees are aligned with my second and third toe. So my knees align with the second and third toe. Here, my knees align with the second and third toe. From there, because I'm pressing it against that band, I'm going to lean forward, I'm going to hold that position here. So that's really going to be activating those glutes. And I'm going to be in this position that's really going to facilitate that by having my chest over my toes. If I'm here, that's more quad dominant. That's going to allow my knees to come in. I'm going to sit back more butt back. Lean there, more glute dominant there. I also don't want to arch my back. I want to make sure my back's neutral in this position. I want to hold this for up to 60 seconds. You're really going to feel the burn. Biggest mistake is this leg here. It's going to come in this way. I actually want to be in a better position here. So if I should flip, flip it the other way, I'm here. A lot of the times the knee would come in this way. I want to be in this position here. So that's a better position here. So that's going to be the back angle there. So don't let it come in here, stay here, okay? So you hold that for 60 seconds. 
the next one's gonna be more of that squat with the paddle off press and integration. So as I mentioned, it's really hard to get the glutes working if you don't get a good core activation. Because as we mentioned, my back's arch, I'm not gonna have my glutes in an optimal position. So I wanna have my back more in a flat spine. So I'm gonna use the strength band here, attach it to a pole or anything. I'm gonna go into a squat here. So I'm gonna sit back with the band on my knees. So that's gonna allow my knees to be externally rotated a little bit more because the band's bringing me inward, I'm rotating out. The strength band is pulling me this way. I'm resisting that and pressing out here. And I'm going to a squat position. So now I'm activating my core and activating my glutes in this position. And I'm gonna feel a big burn here. So I could hold it and then press it out or I could just hold it out in front of me. So this is the easiest. This is the next step. This is the hardest. So I'm really activating my glutes here. My core is engaged, so I'm gonna feel a bigger uh, uh, burn in my glute muscles. Then I could do the same thing in the other side to really feel more of a glute burn on my right glute now. And also I'm working more on my lateral side here. So that's another exercise that you can do. Like I mentioned guys, this is the easy one. So holding it here for 60 seconds, or you could press for 60 seconds, or you could hold this here for 60 seconds. That's our goal. You could start off with 10 seconds, but work your way up to 60 seconds. Hopefully you liked this video on glute strengthening for basketball players part two. This is very important for all basketball players to one, mitigate your risk for injury and also improve your performance. So if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also share this with friends and family, also with other hoopers that would benefit from this. We are the Basketball Doctors, let's ball for life.